As we discussed before about the garment, that it's the simulation asset that will be simulated during the clothes simulation, we want to look now on the clothes setup. The clothes setup is a task that takes the, uh, the rig and the garment to make a setup later when you load dependencies for close simulation task, this will load the setup which has the rig and the garment, and it will replace, the production manager will replace the static rig found in the close setup with the animation uh, that is going to be uh, used for the simulation. Uh, the production manager is going to do this automatically, but First of all, let's work on the closed setup and see uh, what do we have here. First of all, we set the task to in progress, then load dependencies, which will load everything and prepare the scene for working. And now I will do the, uh, the closed setup based on this uh, static uh, rig and the incoming garment. Also notice that if the character you are building the close setup for already have uh, animation clip or anim clip uh, tasks were published for it, these will be available for you here. If you selected uh, any of them when you are loading the dependencies in combination with the rig, then when you do the load dependencies, what will happen is that uh, the anim clip will target the rig. So if you get the version of the rig now, you will notice that this is not uh, the static rig, but it is the, uh, it is the anim clip. As you see, if you click on get version, you will find that this is the anim clip test, not uh, the rig because this process is configured in the processes control table to target the rig when it's loaded as dependency for the closed setup. So, uh, and don't worry about uh, the publish because when you publish the closed setup at the end, uh, the publish of the closed setup is also configured to reset the rig before uh, writing out the final files accordingly. Uh, the exported or the published uh, closed setup will not have the anim clip, but it will have the proper version of the rig uh, that was targeted during the loading dependencies. Also, in cases if you didn't load that and you loaded dependencies normally, then this is now coming from the rig which is uh, the rig. If you click on uh, the alt reference, or if you selected the uh, anim clip and clicked on load dependency, this, as you see in the two cases, it's retargeting the, uh, the rig by the anim clip test. So if you get the version of this now, it's an clip test. Now we should build the setup and make sure to configure the, uh, the solver to start solving from frame 900 because uh, this is the frame where uh, all the anim clip or the animation uh, uh, clips are going to start from. Uh, giving you 100 uh, frames to uh, to run up and relax uh, the clothes before before the simulation of the shot itself. Now the setup is done and the simulation is okay. Uh, as usual, we will do play blast. But before we do play blast, remember that uh, uh, this asset is uh, requires uh, cache tags, so we will have to select the dress and cache tag or click on the cache tag uh, button.
actually even if I did that if if this was already cache tagged when we published the, the, the garment then this would be tagged already uh, from the previous process so uh, if that the case uh, then it's fine but if you are working with uh, with a garment uh, that doesn't have the extruded surface that we tagged then uh, you might need to tag the uh, uh, the object uh, or the final uh, cloth object that is going to be rendered. Anyway, if you didn't do that, uh, the task control will throw an error telling you uh, what you have to do, so don't be worried about it. Uh, also, we can now create asset locator, and as usual, we want to make a play blast for reviewing purpose. and set the correct frame range notice that the system doesn't know the frame range of uh, of such a cloth setup because the cloth setup itself is a static uh, task so uh, if you want to do play blast you will have to set the duration of the or the frame range manually Snafro always know the, uh, the duration of the shot based on the edit or based on the storyboard edit or animatics or the animation layout or, or any similar uh, task or through the database itself on how the shot duration was set. Uh, otherwise, if the asset is, uh, is, is, a, is a static asset, then uh, anything that requires frame range will have to be done uh, or defined by you. Okay, and as usual, we will copy the play, uh, the play blast uh, path that we created and select the asset locator and publish. paste the play blast here notice that when you publish the, the now the uh, now the character doesn't have any animation uh, the publish method is configured to uh, to do something called a reset process uh, in the in the close setup and hair setup and similar tasks there is uh, there is a method in the processes control table called uh, reset ring or reset any process uh, these processes are configured to be reset ring reset ring means that it, uh, the system during the publish will look after uh, any rigging uh, or any rig task and will reset it to its original state uh, before uh, retargeting it with uh, any uh, other process like the anim clip that we had when we loaded the dependencies. So if you uh, scrub through the this scene now, you will notice that the character is no longer uh, moving because this is now the rig, not the anim clip. So that's all fine. And when we go to this, then let's say that now the supervisor will check the result. I took a very bad angle for the play blast, actually. So assuming that this is fine, then approved. Now there is other thing that you also can do. This is telling you that there are other uh, tasks that you can uh, that are ready to start. This is a shot simulation task now for shot two, because uh, Sinafro found that uh, the animation is ready and the close setup now is ready, uh, and all the other dependencies related to uh, to running the close simulation for this task is now uh, ready so he's notifying you about it because I'm, I'm the owner of this task 
uh, also the closed sim test uh, that uh, is a task that I created. Maybe you can uh, need such task uh, for other downstream processes for testing the whole character uh, rendered in motion uh, with the hair and clothes and everything. So uh, you can publish such uh, uh, closed sim test task. You can run this task by, if you set this in progress, and of course, uh, Senefro automatically detect uh, and collect uh, the dependencies you need to run your task. Well, what you need now to do is to load dependencies. When you load dependencies, what Senefro is going to do, he will load the uh, he will load the close setup and will automatically apply uh, the anim clip that you selected here in the uh, as a replacement for the static ring. Remember that, as we mentioned before, this close setup, if you checked it out, it will have uh, a static ring. So there is no animation here. So when you do load dependencies, what Snafro does that uh, he's loading the closed setup and retargets the rig found in the closed setup by the anim clip. Uh, that is configured using uh, a loading method in the processes control table called retarget process, uh, which is in this case is uh, its retarget, uh, retarget rig. So this method is uh, 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 this process is configured to be loaded using the retarget rig uh, uh, method, which accordingly retargets uh, this rig or any other uh, rig related to this character, because this is related to the same character, uh, will be retargeted based on the, uh, the clip loaded here. So if you get the version uh, of this asset, it's an clip test version 2. So all what you need now to do is to, if you want to create, of course, uh, a play blast, but I'm not going to do this now. I just want to show you uh, the publish action that you have for such a process. When I do now publish, So Nefro detects that uh, this is a simulation process and accordingly uh, suggests uh, if you want to do batch publish. The batch publish is actually is publishing your setup or publishing your task uh, through uh, in batch mode on the render farm. Where in this case, uh, it will be to simulate and publish the simulation that happened on the render farm. So what I'm going to do now, I will say uh, batch publish. This is asking for any play blast. I will uh, for not only play blast any other files actually. Then this now publishing successfully, uh, blah, blah, blah. And this is, you can put any optional description and confirm. What happened now, actually, if you read here, you will realize that what happened is that uh, Senefro sent uh, uh, the task for batch publishing uh, through Tractor, which is uh, our render farm uh, manager. So uh, if we go to Tractor now, we will find that this process is running, which will be uh, running the simulation through uh, the whole frame range. Then after everything is done, uh, this will publish the resulted uh, setup. So whenever you, uh, you simulate cache for, uh, for shots or anything, that uh, is uh, the best option for you to run the simulation through the farm because Nefro will also uh, prioritize the tasks that are uh, being or the simulation tasks that are running on the render farm based on the priorities uh, and the delivery dates of the shots 
uh, and uh, and the assets that you are simulating. And one of the um, uh, of the interesting things about uh, about this method that uh, uh, Sinefro can automatically uh, find any asset uh, or any uh, yeah, task ready for simulation as as you notice that when when Sinefro detected uh, that some of the simulation task here is ready, this uh, ready to run simulation task can now automatically run if you configure the system to have them run automatically. So whenever the render farm is idle, the closed simulation uh, task which are ready to uh, to run, you can you can run them through the render farm without doing anything just from the uh, from the web interface here by going to submit to tractor. So if you selected this task here and said submit to tractor, this is going to uh, to submit this task for uh, publishing. What is going to happen automatically in this case is that Snefro will load the dependencies for this task and will create the asset locator and do a batch publish through uh, Tractor or, uh, or OpenQ. Uh, depending on how did you configure your system. And if we go now to Tractor, we will find that uh, the job is running uh, uh, now, what what is happening is that uh, this is on the render farm is being uh, uh, published in batch mode, where the simulation will be uh, uh, made and the result will be uh, published after uh, everything is done. It's the same thing that you are doing in uh, in Maya uh, UI mode, but uh, this is happening in batch mode. Uh, there is another method that it's also uh, good to know that when you are doing loss in, let's say, this task now. Notice that because this is a short task, Sinefro knows exactly the frame range uh, where this uh, shot should be uh, simulated. So, if I set this to in progress and when you load, load dependencies, one of the methods you can do is to. I just want to go to this frame to see it properly. And by the way, if you are not setting the frame range, this doesn't matter at all because uh, the publisher will force doing the correct frame range uh, when he's caching and publishing. So don't worry, it's just whatever I'm doing here is just to uh, just for the live session, but not for any uh, thing uh, related to the pipeline. So uh, what I wanted to say here that when you create asset locator and before you publish, you can run the cache manually here instead of having it to be running uh, during the publish uh, process. If you publish the process, then uh, the task control will cache uh, uh, the simulation and then we'll publish the Maya scene and the other uh, dependencies and files that is configured to be written out uh, through the simulation process. Uh, but if you want, you can run the simulation and uh, browse to the file. And when you are publishing, if you uh, selected, uh, you know, when 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 Sinefro is asking or when the task controller is asking about additional files to uh, append, if you gave uh, the Alembic or the USD uh, cache file, uh, the system will accept uh, the file and will not run the cache. So this is usually what happens when you are publishing. If you give one of the files that is configured to be written out during the simulation, 
or, or during the publish. Uh, then Synafro ignores the creation of this file and takes your files uh, instead. Uh, however, uh, these files have to be generated using the cache uh, tool. Uh, you, you cannot uh, just manually create uh, cache or generate files and, uh, and, and, and send them. These are not going to be uh, accepted and are not going to work in, the, uh, in any later uh, processes. It will cause problems for sure. So everything has to go through the pipeline and uh, using uh, Snafro uh, tools. And when the job in, uh, uh, when the job uh, publishing is done, then the task will automatically be set to uh, uh, art review or review depending on the history of the task status. Uh, and what was happening between you and the supervisor. By the way, the reason why uh, I'm typing here like, like this, that is uh, in the smart list, you see only what you have to see. Other things are hidden. A lot of things, all your tasks through the whole project can reach hundreds and thousands of tasks. Uh, that are not going to be listed here, only what you have to see is listed here, unless you request something uh, specific by typing uh, uh, in two of the filters, which is in this case, I want close sim. This way I can see the art review, uh, which is a closed task actually. Otherwise, if you are the supervisor on the task, you will find something like my revision or whatever, depending on your, uh, your role in the project. Then you will see that, uh, again, in the smart list, you will see what you have to see. In this case, if you are the director or animation director, or depending on who you are, you will find uh, something for you in this list. And uh, if you are the director or animation director, you will see that uh, the things in your review list that you have re uh, to review. That then uh, this is now uh, the finished task. I can control shift click on it and see how the simulation look like. This is what was simulated. So we can, of course, load the anim clip and we can load the simulated cache. And we can also check it here in Maya. What you can also do, you can apply anim look to the whole scene. And you can also generate now a play blast for this. Let's make a plane too and enable the, or just like this. Let's create play blast, enable this. Let's take a better view now. As mentioned, this is not having, yeah, this. I will create a play blast and this time I will drag it and drop it to uh, to the task itself uh, for uh, reviewing purpose. Of 
course, I'm assuming that we didn't do this before uh, when I'm explaining this. And anyway, notice that uh, we didn't uh, we didn't publish the, this cache before. When we published the setup, we only published a static uh, a static setup for a future simulation purpose, but we didn't uh, we didn't publish any cache. So. If, if the cache is needed for other uh, later processes, then you will have to publish something like the like this anim test. And I will drag and drop this to here, and I will say uh, append to this. Append to this will uh, will publish to us the uh, this for reviewing. So that was the file, it's fine, no penetration, nothing, then we can just approve it. Now let's say that I'm going to start working now on, uh, on one of the class simulation for the same character for, uh, for shots. Let's take that, uh, this task that uh, the system has told me that it's ready to start. Uh, then uh, what I'm going to do is I will set the task to current, which of course will connect to uh, the Senefro task control inside Maya. And I will set this to in progress and I will click on load dependencies, which will load all the dependencies I need to run my, uh, my job or to run the simulation for this shot. And as you can see here, uh, the system has set the correct frame range uh, that is needed for uh, this uh, shot and this now is the animation version one which is coming from here and ingested to the clause setup uh, version two which was loaded so what the system did loaded the clause setup the current approved version which is version two if you show the versions you will find that the current approved version here is version 2. This was loaded and uh, the current approved version of the animation, which is version 1, has been injected to the static rig here. So now this is a ready to simulate uh, setup. And of course, this is also uh, the shot camera. So you can see your simulation through uh, the shot camera here and then you can just create asset locator and publish you can also keep the camera inside it if you want that it doesn't uh, it doesn't matter at the end what is going to be simulated is only the cloth that will be uh, simulated and cached uh, all the other things are just uh, will be just inside the, uh, the asset locator it doesn't harm anybody so all what I need to do now is to click on publish. When I click on publish, I, I didn't want to simulate it here. What I'm going to do is just, I will just publish the shot and I will make it go to publish in batch mode, which will submit this to the farm for batch publishing uh, on the farm. As you notice, when I do batch publish or processing on the farm, the task status is automatically is being set to processing. Now, if we go to tractor, we will find that this is now uh, the simulation is running here for uh, this character for this shot. Once the, uh, once the simulation is done, this goes to uh, the task status goes to art review, which notifies the supervisor that he has something to review. Let's say that uh, a simulation like this one here, let's say it requires some modifications or uh, there is some uh, something wrong or there is any penetration or anything that uh, that needs fixing. You don't have to redo the simulation again and again for 
just minor uh, issues. Uh, there is a process called uh, closed sim refinement, hair sim refinement, hair compound sim refinement. Any simulation task uh, in Cinefro has uh, an equivalent uh, process uh, refined. Uh, so you can uh, get assigned a task Uh, let's go to the shot. This was cross simulation for shot two in scene three. So we can go to shot two and we want to add for this character a close sim refined task, which is this one. Okay, the production manager detected the new task and see how the close sim refined task. I will not talk a lot about it, but just uh, to see what is this task. What this task is doing actually is it will load uh, the close sim that we did before and it will load the animation. Of, uh, of the character for this shot and any other dependencies that the production manager detects that it's needed for your task. And here you can start sculpting uh, the cache and removing any uh, penetration or any uh, minor issues that, uh, that have happened. Uh, during this uh, simulation and when you are done you will create asset locator and click on publish but of course uh, you you should you should not do that for major uh, issues that requires fixing the setup itself if there are uh, if there is something uh, major that will happen in uh, in all shots or most of the shots then you have to fix it in the closed setup itself to save yourself the time from doing the same uh, modifications and refinements again and again.